Welcome to the freshman class. My name is Tony Harris, aka The Tutor, and today I'm going to tutor you on paying attention to your protective gear, your uniforms, your safety gear, and stuff like that, and, and how just basically give you some ideas on what you can use as far as geese and all of that stuff. Okay, so first and foremost, your uniform. Uh, it's actually very interesting. Different gi makers, different gi providers have different uniforms that fit different bodies better. So this is something that you kind of have to experiment with over a period of time. Uh, I find myself, I like more of a, a looser fitting gi on the body with a short cut uh, at the waist so it doesn't go too long and uh, wide, a little bit wider on the arms but tight. Okay, So I find that that's really uh, prominent with Furia. Furious gi line, I like the way that these gis fit, but also Keiko Hasa, okay, or Kaiko Hasa. So um, I would recommend that if you're of that body type, that you maybe of a body type similar to mine, those are the ones that you go with. If you can see, this is what I look like, okay? Those are the ones you go with because they fit really well for me, they work really well for me. But generally speaking, the gi, the gi that you wear is going to fit two things, okay, well, maybe three things for some of you. It's going to fit your your game and how you like to fight and how your jiu-jitsu is developing it's going to fit your body as far as your body type specifically and then the last thing is it's going to fit you know like i said the third thing your style like whatever you however you want to look you know while you're training do you want to wear a cool gi with like all kinds of crazy stuff on it or do you just like you like to keep it simple and wear just a gi and get the job done um some of the gi providers out there that are phenomenal like i said fury is great uh Kaiko Hasa, Corral, um, Jiu Jitsu Pro Gear, uh, Vulcan. Um, people are really crazy right now about Show Your Roll. Uh, Gameness is great. Like, there's just so many great key providers. But again, I want you. To, I think you should find what fits your body type best and your training schedule. Uh, when you're washing your geese, so there's there's two real ways, the two really simple ways to make sure that you can dry your geese quickly. Uh, you dry it, you wash it, and you air dry it, which takes a little bit longer or you wash it and you tumble dry it on low. You always tumble dry on low. You will find that they shrink, your gi shrinks a little bit, but it won't be that, it won't be too bad, okay? And the color will actually stay for a long, long time if you shrink it on low. Uh, now, as far as if you're a no gi practitioner, man, there's, a, there's an army of different, you know, providers that you can use for your no gi training. You know, when we're talking about your shorts and your, your top and your under sleeves, for that one, I'm sure that if you're training Nogi at your school, your instructor has some, some suggestions for you. Uh, I personally would recommend, uh, I like Corral, um, I like Furia, Furia has great stuff all overall. I like Jiu Jitsu Pro Gear a lot, I like Jiu Jitsu Pro Gear a lot, and uh, those are pretty much the ones that I use the most. Okay, and I use Invicta Wear, but this is Under Armour, and you know, I, I wouldn't recommend uh, using unless you have like unless your school is like using this as their their personal training training rush guard or rash guard or something i would recommend that you get something like what they have like furia or you know corral or something like that because those guys are really good uh, under armor is not really made to be a rash guard it's more to be made to be a different kind of shirt and then last thing guys defense soap get it <laughs> oh, and ear protection. Talk to your instructor about that if you feel like you want to protect your ears. Have a good one.